Xavier Porter, Brooklyn Fight, shoot the five with the one and only former WBC world champion, Miss K.O. Kaylee Reese. How you feeling today? Good, how you doing? What's poppin'? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. First off, what brings you out tonight? Lennox Estrada, I call him my son. I've watched that kid grow up since he was like two years old. He's the son of former heavyweight Olympian Jason Big Six Estrada, mm -hmm. representing Big Six Boxing Academy. He is about to make his amateur debut, and I'm here to support because I cannot mm -hmm. wait. He's about to kill it. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're out here for the amateur boxing? Yes, I am. Supporting the young man. Okay. Yep. Now, I heard a little bit about your interview over there a few minutes ago. Yep. Um, what's taking place with you, though? Taking place with me right now, I was supposed to fight today and or yesterday. Um, I'm staying ready, so I ain't got to get ready. Um, okay. You know, this, you know, the politics of boxing sometimes, the business side of boxing sometimes, it doesn't match up mm -hmm. to what you want to. So we had a fight lined up for the WBO 154-pound title um, against an African who's 15. No, I don't know her name. I feel bad I keep calling her the okay. African. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm so okay. sorry, sweetheart. Um, that we had secured that back about two months ago, and we got wind of Boo Boo fighting Demetrius Andre having a fight at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in my hometown of Providence, Rhode Island. So we were working that out. Mm -hmm. I am signed to Star Boxing, Joe DeGuardia, and Matchroom Boxing is putting that, that show on. Yeah. So um, there was kind of some miscommunication as far as my promoter, their promoter. So we didn't get that fight secured. Um, we also didn't get the title secured. We thought we did, but. Um, Clarissa Shields actually just recently dropped down to 54 and yeah. was going to fight Ivana Hapazin for that, that title, but unfortunately she got injured, so yeah. my promoter had another card up in the Catskills yesterday, and uh, we had a few opponents, but they wanted a lot of money to fight, and um, it just wasn't in the budgets, apparently, so here I am in shape and ready to go and no fight, <laughs> but it's all good. Why do you think uh, people wanted more money to fight you? I mean, I'm a veteran. I'm ranked. I'm a good fighter. Um, and a former world champion. Former world champion. I'm ranked number two right now as a welterweight in, in the world and number one in the U.S. And I'm me. I mean, not to sound arrogant or narcissistic, but I've done my due diligence in this woman's boxing. And, mm. um, you know, I'm in my prime right now. I'm at least top ten, pound for pound, even though I'm not in any pound for pound list, but, mm. you know, I broke down, helped break down some barriers. Um, first woman's about to ever be televised on HBO. Facts. In breakfast with over a million views. Um, Who hasn't given you the rematch yet? No. Oh, she is doing the Pinnell with a cut. <laughs> Big us, Miss Breakfast, I want that rematch. Man, let's hustle again. <laughs> So, um, first of all, let me get the drip. Like, this this is a nice, uh, pretty nice sweatsuit right here. This is my homeboys at um, Gru Clothing. They represent Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Gratitude, respect, unity. They have a clothing line all about the kids, all about unity, respect, gratitude. And show me, so I'm out here representing them. I mm -hmm. love all their clothing, so... Okay, happy Pride Week. Thank you very much. Oh, Pride you. Month, I should say. Pride Month, <laughs> <laughs> Now, women's boxing. There's a lot of females out there. Are you going to stay at 147 or are you going to 154? I, I, I like 147. I'm comfortable fighting 147, um, but I am also comfortable at 54. And 154, between 147, actually, if you go down even like 140, between 140 and mm -hmm. 160 is hot right now. It's gotcha, hot, yeah. Like, Hot. So yeah. I, I want to stay at 47, but I also do want to move up to 54. You know, there's a lot of potential matchups with people moving up, people moving down. So mm -hmm. 54, 147, I'm really, really comfortable. So I want to stay between those two right now. Outside of Cecilia Brickus, who else do you have your eyes on? Or who would you like to, you know, get a shot at? Um, like I had mentioned, I, would, I we've talked about Layla McCarter a few times, and she's a veteran. Out of Mayweather's pro promotion. Yeah, yeah, man, she's um, I love the the, the, the lady, man, Layla Big Ups, man. She she's done so much, and she's you know a veteran mm. of women boxing. So I think that would be an awesome fight. I honestly really think that would be a dope fight. Um, Raquel Miller, she is a uh -oh. woman. Yeah, and a new crown. Big up, girl. New crown NABF um, title holder. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm really happy for her. Um, we have kind of danced around a little bit about her fighting her, and I just got recent wind of her saying that she thinks she could beat me with all due respect. Mm -hmm. I, that's, that's what's up. So let's do this. Um, she's a talented fighter. She uh, had a really good amateur career, and she's doing her thing, man. So big up. Much respect. I love you, girl. Keep doing your thing. She has her own business going on, but mm -hmm. um, that's definitely another fight I would like to fight, um, especially for her saying that she thinks she could beat me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a shit talker. I don't talk shit, mm -hmm. but I will say this. Everybody thought the Easter Bunny shot colorful eggs and they believed in that. So, <laughs> so they got that show. I hear now you. Now that talk, no respect, girl, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Now, there's some other uh, competitors out there at 154. Like you said, Clarissa's dropping down. Clarissa's dropping Hannah down. Hannah Gabriel's is still Hannah there. Hannah Gabriel's, I would love that rematch. I did fight her before. 
Um, I forgot who the she's in from Poland. Is the one the, the one fifty four? Hannah Rankin. Not Hannah Rankin. Okay. I actually just helped her respond for our last. Okay. Uh, that was fun. Big ups. Congratulations. Uh, um, Hannah Rankin. I would like to fight her too. Um, we got somebody else. I got the WBC in Poland. I, f- I don't know how to pronounce her name. She's mm-hmm. at fifty four. This fifty four pound class is busy. Yeah, it's really good to be between forty and sixty right now. So mm-hmm. there's a lot. I would love to that that fight with Clarissa Shields is gonna happen when it needs to happen. She's mm-hmm. dropping down. I want to move up. I'm trying to secure some straps. She's trying to secure a bunch more straps. She's doing mm-hmm. big things, big ups, Clarissa Shields. Man, heal up, quit, girl, get back to work. Sending you good vibes. So that fight, we'll definitely have to make that happen. I want to fight the best. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm, I consider myself in the best category. So the best should fight the best. And it brings the best out of us. Mm-hmm. You know, we're all in it for the you know the same ultimate reason. We have our individual reasons. But I, I think that will be an awesome fight. When it, when it makes sense and makes dollars. Because I don't want to take pennies for these fights. <laughs> and today. We want money. <laughs> we want to get paid right, girls? All right. <laughs> do you think, uh, do you feel that women's boxing in the round should be increased to three? If, I'm not going to do more work for the same amount of money or less gotcha. money. So, but granted, we do spar three minutes and 30 second rest, just like the guys do. Mm-hmm. If at the very least, I think for a world title fight, we should be 12 rounds, just like the guys do. Keep it at two minutes if you want to, because we're not going to get paid anymore. It's not only, but <laughs> I, 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 I want to fight three minutes, 12s. But if you're not going to give us three minutes, at least give us 12 rounds for the, especially undisputed, mm. 10 rounds. Come on. Yeah. Man. Not excuses, but had I had two more rounds, you know what I mean, or an extra minute in the rounds, we train just like the guys do sometimes more than the guys do, mm. harder than the guys do. So I don't see why we shouldn't fight that. Okay. However, if they don't want to pay us, I ain't doing extra work. True, true. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like one of these things, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. So if you had a choice, top top five, who would you pick that you want first? And, you know, down want, yeah. I want Brackus, man. I just want that. I want Brackus. I want us to fight again. Come on, let's round eleven through twenty. Come on, girl, let's do this. Um, Brackus, Gabriel's, um, Raquel Miller, Shields, and let's see who else can I throw up in there. Wow, who else do you think? Who should be my fifth? You already mentioned. Let me see. You mentioned Brackus. You mentioned Shields. Um, Gabriel. Good question. And Carter. Leland Carter. Yeah, that's, that's your fight. That's a veteran up there. Okay. So, all very talented fighters, very good fighters, all big ups. And it's nothing but love for me. Like, again, I ain't no shit talker mm-hmm. unless you provoke me. But y'all keep doing your thing. Again, close to Shields here. Heal up, sending you good vibes. Everybody keep training. We all in this. We got to get equal pay, equal opportunities. So. Okay. Before I let you go, you're a beautiful Native American. Thank you very much. Um, and the tats. Let's talk about that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so we can get the support out there. So yes. You know. I just recently entered myself into uh, the Inked Magazine Cover Girl competition. So basically, they're looking for the next cover girl. And I entered myself into this competition. Mm. It's a daily vote. We're up to the top 10 now in our groups. And they picked the final winner in August. But we got to vote every day. And we got to win those rounds. So basically, you know, I'm not, I didn't enter this whole Ink Magazine cover girl thing as your typical reason. <laughs> um, I have this ultimate dream of doing a reservation tour to mm. give back to my communities. And with the winnings, you get 25 grand if you win this whole competition. So mm. with the winnings, because I'm going to win, mm-hmm. I want to take this 25 grand and hit as many reservations as I can and get this res tour started. So, and I think it's time for them to have an indigenous, mixed indigenous Native American woman on their cover because we see the same thing. So I think it would behoove them to put somebody like moi on their cover. And also because I really want to get this res tour started. So please go to my Instagram and or my Facebook. Hit the link. Vote every day. I keep updates daily. Please vote every day. <laughs> snag a phone. Tag somebody. Snag phones. Vote from their phones. Tag a friend. Let them know. We got to get this um, rest tour funded. I want to give back. I want to help rebuild. I want to learn. I want to spread awareness for the missing and murdered indigenous women. Mm. We are losing our women. We are losing our children. We're losing our young generation. So whatever I can do to help. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. Native Americans, we are the forgotten race. You know, we get spoken about as we like are in the past. We are still here. I'm still here as a mixed indigenous woman. I'm Cape Verdean and Native American. I am standing here as a testament of my ancestors' survival and our resilience. So let's do this, man. Vote for me so I can embrace that cover like you. <laughs> <laughs> and so your Instagram and Facebook is? Instagram is KO underscore NDNBXR, like Indian boxer. And my Facebook is KO dash Kaylee, K A L I, Reese, R E I S. Hit the follow, hit a share, hit the link, vote for me. All right. <laughs> Thanks again. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.